second and third one are not good but at all. But why now, after two mediocre to bad sequels, do they think they finally got it again? Yeah, it's nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm, it. I'm gonna let it go. I'm not even gonna try. Okay. I've, I've been doing all the challenges. I'm gonna let this one go. This is a challenge? This saw. Oh. I had to get to that chest. Oh, sure. I'm letting this one go. Oh, and who's... Wow. I don't think Spielberg is directing Jurassic World, right? Is there a director attached? There, I don't know. There, I haven't been following it's it. Not, I don't care. It's not Spielberg. I'm sure he's producing it or something, but... Sure. Yeah, I don't even know who's directing it. Like, who cares? Uh, well, I think people care because um, the man of the hour is in it, right? Uh, who's oh, in it? Chris Pratt. Oh, is he? Yeah, Chris Pratt is starring in it. Oh, okay. So I think that's why people are caring is because everyone loves him right now. But... <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah, no, I don't care. Yeah. I'll probably see it, I guess, when it comes out. But I, I'm not, I'm not assuming it's gonna be horrible. I'm not looking forward to it. It's just another thing. It's just another thing. There's so many things. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Jim. It's just another, this is another thing. It's gonna come out. Uh, it will probably not be offensively bad. And it will probably not. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh no. Okay, no, 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 well, this is what I'm saying. Jurassic Park advanced the art form that is cinema. Yes. Not even gonna try. Uh, oh my. Not even gonna try. Oh my god. Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. So, it will not do that. It will probably be acceptable. I can only imagine. I, I don't know anything about it, other yeah. than the fact that it's coming. Yeah. Now, is this, is this sequel or reboot? How are they approaching it? I think I, it's a sequel. I don't know. Oh, God. Sequels can be reboots, though. What? You're rebooting the franchise by making a new movie. But it'll be a sequel to the... It won't ignore then, the first... Three. But then it can't be a reboot if it's a sequel. Yeah, it can. It's rebooting the franchise. This franchise has been dead. We're making a new one. It's rebooting it. That's not yeah. what a reboot is. I think it is. No, no, it's not. No? No. Who, who can keep track? A, a, a reboot. reboot is when continuity has been yeah. wiped. That's a re... Is it? Yeah, it's a comic book term. Okay. Yeah. Universe continuity is reboot. I understand. You're you're referring to it... You're, you're, you're thinking of reboot as in... Uh, I think you're not using the word reboot correctly. Maybe. I can't keep track of all these terms for They're... for raping a franchise. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many different terms. They're, you're thinking of like when they want to jumpstart a franchise. Yeah. might be a, a more appropriate word. <laughs> where, where this isn't a remake of the original movie. Mm -hmm. um, the other movies maybe happened, but this is a new story that we're telling, trying to kick the series uh, back into gear. Yeah. Kickstart would be another uh, appropriate term. Alright, alright. I watched the shit out of Reboot when it was on. I made a Reboot reference in a Best of the Worst episode. Oh, yeah. The, uh, oh, I love Reboot. The the superhero episode, right? The, yeah, the Johnny Storm. Looked and like even though I didn't get reboot. the reference, I kept it in. And I showed a graphic when I googled Reboot cartoon or whatever it was. <sighs> Great. I had no idea what it was. Yeah, I watched Reboot. I actually, I'm really upset I never saw how the series ended. I was I was a little into it, but it was at that awkward age where it's like, I was definitely too old to be watching it, but still <laughs> watching cartoons. Um, and so I never saw how the series ended because I needed to stop watching cartoons. <laughs> if I remember right, the story had an end, but they wanted an extra season after that. <laughs> sure, I'd believe it. I'll look it up one of these days. Oh, fuck this. Uh. <sighs> Alright. No, no. Oh, you're fine? Yeah. You're fine? For now. I'm not down with Hulu. Someone is saying it's on Hulu. And I'm not down with Hulu. Hulu? Hulu. 
What's the difference? Uh, Hulu has current run TV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with that? Uh, Fuck! I'm not done with it because I don't... Uh, I don't care that much about current TV to to think it's worth it. Mm. I'm sure they're... it's worth it to me because I don't watch TV. Yeah, like when a show is on, I don't make up like, oh, it's Thursday night. I need to watch my my story. Right. Um, so I like Hulu because then I can just watch it later. Oh sure. I don't watch a lot of shows to begin with, but mm -hmm. it's nice to to have the ability to watch something. I just uh, for me, I can't think of that many shows that I would want to watch. Okay. To make it worth it. I like the idea of Hulu. Yeah, I suppose is what I'm saying. They have movies <sighs> on there too. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, they have a fair amount of movies that I don't see on Netflix or a couple other places. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, they oh, have okay. a, a nice variety of stuff. <sighs> Doing okay. Like I do, I do the Netflix and I do the Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. So I get all the a bunch of Amazon Instant stuff, which is great. So yeah, it's it's definitely like. The more ecosystems you're part of, the harder it is to get involved in any other. Sure. It's like, I already got two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I don't like paying for commercials. Is that true? Do you still get commercials if you're a Hulu subscriber? Uh, you get commercials on TV shows, yeah. Really? Yeah. If you're a subscriber? Even if you pay them? Yeah. Oh, what? Sucks. But I think the idea is if you don't pay, I could be wrong about this. I think the idea is if you don't pay, you only get like the most recent couple of episodes of the show. No, you don't get you don't get those if you don't pay. You, unless they change it, I you used to get like five. Oh, and I thought yeah. If you if you don't pay, you only get like the most recent five episodes or so. If uh -huh. you pay, you get the entire season oh, and previous seasons. Sure. Oh, is that so, how it works? I believe so. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. It's like cable without the cable bill. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know nothing about nothing. I know that Walking Dead season four finally came to Netflix, so I got, I'm, I'm down. I can't wait to continue to not watch Walking Dead. No. That show was so fucking boring. It, it's, it got good. I, I refuse to believe it. Uh, and I'm fine with that. You know, that. the problem with that show is that there's no end goal. Because it's making a shitload of money, so they're going to keep doing it. Yep. So there'll be like five episodes to be where nothing happens. To be fair, the, the comic book series isn't even intended to have an end goal. It's supposed to be ongoing. Sure. I, I guess that's with that sort of premise, I don't care. But the TV show especially, it's like... Yeah, there'll be five episodes of nothing happening. And then something big will happen. And then five more episodes of nothing yeah, I got really bored with that show and gave up. I did. I did as well. Bob. Which is a shame because the first episode is fantastic. Great pilot. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've talked about this before. Like, Probably best zombie movie ever. The pilot. The yes, pilot. I... The pilot of Walking Dead. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, and you know what? A, a lot of the first season, the first two, three episodes of the first season is really great. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I, even by the end of the first season, I was starting to get a little, like, yep. all right, I get it. And then you hit that second season. And <laughs> That's man, where I gave up, yeah. Man, does it suck. We we picked it back up just because we ran out of other shit to watch. Yeah. The third season is much better. Okay. Um, uh, I like the idea that there's a show like that that is so popular. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know if I care enough to try and go back to it. It... If you can put up, and a lot of the second season really sucks. <laughs> I mean, there's just there's no way around it. They spend the whole time in a farmhouse, they, right? The entirety of the second season is at yeah. that same farmhouse. Budget concerns. Uh, if you can make it to the third season, it gets good immediately. Okay. Maybe I'll try. Fuck! Immediately in the third season, it gets real good. Even by the, you know what, or maybe that's even the end of the second season. Whenever they leave that goddamn farmhouse, it gets Well, see, if that's the case, if that's the end of the second season, it's like, we have to fill a season 
What do we do? Yeah. Let's have him sit in this farmhouse, and then this great idea we have, we'll do it at the very end. Yep. I know you don't care about the comic books. I know they were at a farmhouse for a while in the comics. Mm. No, it might have... It might be... It might work in comic book form. I don't even know, but yeah. for a TV show, it's boring as shit. It, 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 it really fucking is. That second season, goddamn. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Oh my fuck, god. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is awesome. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Third season is the worst. What are you talking? Or no, it's the second season that they're at the farm. Yeah, yeah. No, third season's really good. It, it gets a little, it gets a little wacky, which is maybe not the right term. <laughs> do they bring back in the third season? Do they bring back Michael Rooker? Yes. Okay. Yes, they that do. automatically makes it better than season two. Yes. If Michael Rooker's in it, then yes. I will probably be more likely to watch it because Michael Rooker's. Great. <laughs> I was is. so excited when he showed up in the first season, and then it's like, oh, he's gone already. Yep. He you does. fuckers. He comes back. Minus a hand. Yes. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> I might. I might watch the show someday. You know. Right. You should. Is he the one they handcuff? Yeah. At yeah. the top of the building? Yeah. The top of the... That's Michael Rucker. The brother. He's uh, in Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. And Mall Rats. Yeah. Oh, God, you know, that's right. It's not <laughs> worth it for a chest of money. Fuck this. We yeah. got things to do. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I think so far I'm only, I'm only one episode into season four, and it's. It's alright. Okay. It's alright. What you, you know. got? What you got? I always, I know Rich and I made a big stink in the E3 previously recorded about being done with zombies, but yeah. Well, that's like what we were saying earlier. Like you can say I'm done with zombies, but then you see a really good zombie movie. <laughs> it yeah. all depends on the individual thing. Yeah. It has less to do with the zombies than it does the characters. I'm, yes. I'm a little invested in these characters. Um. So much so that I can't remember the goddamn main character's name. What is it? Nobody can. You're the second or third person I've talked to in talking about that show where they're like, what's the main guy's name? That guy's boring. Nobody cares. Rick. Rick. Oh, Rick. Ugh. You know what? It's because he has a dumb name like Rick. <laughs> I'm not saying Rick is a dumb name. I'm just saying it's not a memorable lead not character. Not a memorable name. name. Rick. Rick goes through some awesome stuff in yeah. season three. Okay. Man. Yeah, it's great. Rick. Rick and Coral. Coral, my boy, Coral. <laughs> Coral, we gotta go fight the zombies, Coral. <laughs> what is it with Rick's? You're totally right. What is it with Rick's? Rick Grimes. That's what his name is. That just makes me think of Frank Grimes from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Coral. <sighs> you know what you're doing? Oh my oh god. Oh my. my. Jesus, God. The stage is my kryptonite. Old grimy. Nice. Grin is asking you and I, Jay, if they will ever make a good alien franchise movie again. They would like us to predict the future. Uh, I don't know. Probably not in the near future. I think if there, because there's a Prometheus 2 in the works, right? Is there? I think so. No. As long as that's happening, there probably won't be a good alien movie for a while. Did that make money? It did. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a sequel in the works. Ugh. 
And I wasn't as harsh on Prometheus. Oh, me either. As I, I got a lot of shit for that. It's a great looking movie. It's a great looking movie. And you know what? A lot of it's fine until you get to the third act. <laughs> and that motherfucker falls right apart. Yeah. Just I have no w- interest in seeing more of that world. No. Um, but I think as long as that's happening, there will not be a separate Alien series being made. So. Uh, I believe you're correct. And you know what? Honestly, the Alien series probably should have never been a series to begin with. That first movie, standalone movie, fine film. Yep. Oh my god, is that what it does? Oh, that's fun. And I know everyone likes Aliens, but that really is, that first movie is not something where I'm like, you know what, I want to see more of this universe. You know, Aliens was great, Jay. Aliens is a, is a fine movie. I don't love it as much as a lot of people do, but I'm saying, like, based on the first movie, I would not say I want to see this turn into a franchise. It's a very uh, self-contained story. It is. And, you know, Aliens did something different with it. It did, yeah. Which, Which a lot great. of people love. Yes. And I think is okay. And, and that's, <laughs> that's what a sequel can do. Sure. And, and then they decided to get weird with it. <laughs> You know. Well, to be fair, I've read like original, early well earlier proposals for like script treatments for Aliens three, uh-huh. and it was basically just Aliens, but more. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like one 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 script treatment I read had like twenty power loaders versus twenty queen oh, aliens. God. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's, that's like the classic idea. sequel idea of just. Uh, let's just do more later. of it. Yeah. Yep. But they went the opposite route, and everybody hated that, too, with Alien 3. <laughs> Only one alien, claustrophobic, mm. uh, creepy environment. It was much closer in tone to the first movie than Aliens was. Sure. Sure. Everybody hates Alien 3. I, I think it's a fine film. People it who has hate, some problems, People but... who hate Alien 3 like Aliens more than Alien. Yes, that's probably part of the problem. Because everybody was upset they killed off yeah. Newton Hicks. As I didn't care as, because I didn't care about Newton Hicks. As I was. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of those people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did not care about those characters, so I didn't care that they killed them off. And I thought it worked for the movie. It's like, oh shit, all bets are off. Those people are dead. I know that they did it for they're, they're people reasons who... other than storytelling. They did it because they didn't want to get those characters back, but... And I guess I should say, when I say I like Alien 3, uh, I'm talking about the extended cut that's on the Blu-ray, more so than the theatrical cut. <laughs> Although I didn't hate the theatrical cut either, but the, the newer cut is a much better movie. There's so much I don't remember about Alien 3. Yeah. That's just... You remember Sigourney Weaver with a shaved head, right? She looks badass. I, there, there's so, I, that was the entire selling point of that movie. So much. Like, it's a new Alien movie, and look, Sigourney Weaver doesn't have hair. What? As if that's some sort of, like... <laughs> Amazing thing. Uh, that's how they sold V for Vendetta. That's true. Natalie Portman shaved her head for the role. Yeah. How bold and brave <laughs> that a woman would shave her head. <laughs> <sighs> I feel right. I'm feeling okay. 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 Great. Great. I get past this lava stage and I'm still not dead. You guys can leave whenever, but I'm sticking around. <laughs> you're just gonna you're gonna, you're gonna finish it. I'm finish gonna stick it out. Yeah, I got. I'm I'm. I'm probably gonna leave after this beer. Jesus Christ! It's, it's almost it, one o'clock. It's like one in the morning almost. What are, what are you? What's your predictions, Rich? How <sighs> what's how long? Probably a while. <laughs> Pro- probably a while. Yeah. Yeah. This is tough because. You're rocking the no death run. I know. We're not playing Pictionary tonight, guys. <laughs> MS Paint Pictionary will absolutely happen, just not tonight. All right, tonight we were no death running guacamole. And we got off to a little later start than I would have liked. What's happening tomorrow? 
trying to th- try to schedule this out where we can finish the no death run and but also sleep like normal humans. <laughs> You wanted to wake up and watch Alien, right? I have to wake up and watch Aliens. Oh, we're man. filming pre-rec tomorrow. We're, pl- we're we're doing we're doing other work tomorrow, so we can't do this work. I don't have to do that, but I might wake up and watch Alien anyway. <laughs> Just because <laughs> Alien is great. Dude, do you want to watch Alien? <laughs> I'll make coffee and we'll watch Alien. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This is a thing that could happen. That's tempting. <laughs> I'll I'll text you, dog. Okay. Um do it right now while I'm playing this. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I start watching Alien now, I would fall asleep. Yeah. That movie starts off slow. Um, I'm trying to think of how we can. I'm trying to think of how we can logistically finish this. Maybe not tomorrow. Hold on. Let me look at my calendar. <laughs> Rich, are you okay not playing Guacamole for a couple days? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you choose save files? I'm, I'm in... You can't... Look, I'm in the zone now. What's going to happen uh-huh. is we're going to start another day, and I'm going to die instantly. I mean, you're right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm in it for a little bit longer. I'm in it for a little bit longer, and really what will just happen is I'll just leave my shit here, and you can just stream until you're goddamn ready to stop. <laughs> I mean, eventually I need to sleep, but... I'm in it for a little bit longer. Okay. Oh my god. Nope. What are you gonna do? <laughs> did you just die? No, I'm just. I nearly did though. Uh, I nearly did. This, uh, this is the other problem, Rich. Is you're you're becoming sleep deprived, and maybe you're too in the zone. No, I'm not too in the zone. <laughs> Don't be an insane man. <laughs> you got problems in your zone, dog. You got problems inside of your brain? That could be. That could be a real thing that happens. They're saying I should just take a nap right here. No, because I'll snore. <laughs> and that'll throw Rich off. Rich is the zone. You're totally right. Shit. You're right. I'll stop distracting. <laughs> it's only one. It's a, it's not only one. It is one. Yeah. <laughs> like that's that's the thing. <laughs> Go away, you guys. Oh, I hate those guys. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Rich, Jack is trying to lead you astray. Renew thy force. <laughs> it's true, I am. I'm absolutely trying to lead him asunder. <laughs> <laughs> How close to the end of the game are you? Pretty close, but a couple hours, I'm gonna say. Wow. A couple hours, you think? No, well, I wanna go back and get the orbs. Oh, d- well, I do. I'm going to, Jack. You can't stop me from not doing that. I guess what I'm saying is, like, if you didn't go get the orbs, is this, like, an hour? Or a half hour? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. Because then you you're know? just a jerk. <laughs> just gonna skip him. You d- you already missed out on on jingle jangs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are mad at me because I haven't died yet. This is this is sad. I'm not I'm mad. mad at you. I was just curious how close you were to the end. Yeah, yeah. And you know, just just one of those things where I'm I'm leaving when I want to, regardless of if you're done. I was just curious. Yeah. I guess that's how I'm feeling too. I'm I'm leaving regardless, but I'd like to stay and watch. I might not be that far. Uh-huh. 
The Scalaphon. Ah, mwah, mwah. Uh, Rich? Yeah. They're telling you you need to hunker down <laughs> and, uh, and power through. Okay. Also, if you could find a roof somewhere and you get up on that, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jay, someone is asking if you are a fan of Chris Cunningham. Um, the music video director guy. He is also a movie I have not seen, but I've always meant to. A sexy Beast. Okay. He directed that as well. You know, I don't think I've seen any of his movies. Has he done anything other than Sexy Beast? I'm sure he has. You know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'm sure he has, but I don't. Know. I I know him from music videos. Yeah, he has the he has a music video collection. Like they do. Like they do. That's all I'm seeing listed as director is uh, music videos. And sexy beast. Or did, sexy he, beast? did he write sexy beast? Um. No. He, he had nothing to do with sexy beast. What? Nothing. Really? Yeah. Unless I'm missing it. What? I, I just know him from music videos. I know he did that rubber Johnny thing that was creepy and weird, and I don't know. I don't have much thoughts on Chris Cunningham, I guess. I really thought he did Sex and Beast. That's so weird. Oh. Oh. Well, I apologize for, for leading you asunder. <laughs> uh... All I know is I have his his music video director's collection. Oh, and yeah. There's a super wicked uh, Levi's jeans commercial. Oh, okay. That he did. That I thought was really fantastic. <laughs> well, all right. So, that's all I got. <laughs> and uh, he, made a, he made a joke in the video, or in the collection. In which, uh, you know, it's a collection of his music videos and some of his ad work and stuff like that. And there's a running theme in the menu selection where he's tracking down a homeless person who's giving him all of his ideas. <laughs> it's just this one homeless guy and it's just like, the homeless guy's going down an escalator and he's going up one and the homeless guy tells him an idea for like a music video. Oh, yeah. And I think that's clever. <laughs> What a weird thing to bring up. Why Why did you bring him up, Chad? Chris Cunningham? What has he done lately? Nothing? I don't know. I don't know. He did, uh, apparently, it had something to do with the visual effects for Alien, Alien 3, so maybe that was the connection. But... Oh, sure. I don't know. Okay. Asunder is my word of the day. I said it earlier, and I really liked it. It's so a fine I word. So I said it again. Asunder is not a word you hear very often. Did you win? Are you winning? Not the whole game, but... No, you won the fight. Yeah. Great. I think that's great. <laughs> Wait, no you don't. <laughs> you want me to die, Jack. Admit it. Admit Jonathan it. Jonathan Glazer of Sexy Beast also had a video collection. Maybe I'm thinking of Jonathan Glazer, whose work I really like. That name sounds familiar, too. Yeah. Outside of Sexy Beast. Who did the Levi's commercial? This is very important to me. <laughs> I don't think I can find that on IMDb. I think you can Google it. Oh, Jonathan, Jonathan Glazer did Under the Skin. Oh! Which came out earlier this year, which is fucking great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's fine. I like him. I like Under the Skin. I thought that movie was fantastic. Great. And he did Birth a few years ago, which was somewhat controversial with Nicole Kidman. I saw it in the theater, and I remember thinking it was interesting. Oh. oh. Okay, I need you to Google Jonathan Glazer G jeans commercial. <laughs> See if this is a real thing. See what comes up. Oh yeah, Levi's ad. This is totally it. Watch this. This is awesome. John okay, Jonathan Glazer is who I really enjoy. Arnest chat, we're watching a Levi's commercial. Chat's sick of this. 
The chat's sick of us. Who cares? We're watching a Levi's commercial. This is a great commercial. Google Jonathan Glazer Levi's ad. <laughs> That's what we're watching right now. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. So, who the fuck cares about Chris Cunningham when you got Jonathan Glazer? Jonathan Glazer directed Under the Skin. And that is definitely a movie worth checking out. Visual metaphors. <laughs> so that's all we got. Jonathan Glazer. <laughs> you, you bring up someone, we don't care about him. We bring up our own people. We, by the way, the portly gentleman, you're right. We were just watching the Anaconda music video over again. <laughs> but something you should know about the Red Letter Media Studios is uh, we've set up a special monitor. To it's just the Anaconda video all day. Just on a loop. Yep. Manny the Varaking. Uh, asks me what I think about those amiibos that the Wii U has, the little guys. Rich is fighting now, he doesn't have time to, account, uh, to talk. Uh, I think they're fucking dumb and I'm not gonna get any. If I wanted to buy a, a toy with my video game that I can't play with in real life, I wouldn't fucking... Why would you get that toy? It's the dumbest. It's a dumb idea. And I hope it fails, but it won't, because Skylanders is the biggest thing in this generation of video games. Kids are gonna grow up loving the shit out of Skylanders. I don't know where it is. It's a video game. <laughs> Imagine a video game that if you wanted to play more of that video game, you had to buy a little doll. I just wanna play a video game. Right. But you can't, you can play the video game yep. with the doll that you have, but if you wanna play more of the video game, you gotta get another doll. This sounds like a gimmick. Yeah. It sounds like a way to, to steal money from people. Yep. And it's working like fucking gangbusters. What does the doll do? The doll hooks up to your little thing and then you pl you get to play as the doll okay. in the video game. It's it's basically a piece of do plastic. Do you have to buy a physical doll? A fi like it can't even yes. just... This is stupid. Yes. Oh yeah. I, I didn't... That, this is not... It's not just like an add-on you can buy and you have to buy this doll. You have to buy this doll. Okay. I don't like this. No. And it's all the rage. It's all the rage nowadays. Mm. Uh, and and I think it's it's one of the worst things that's happening to video games. Uh, it's also kind of brilliant because you know, like they're just finding the most efficient way to suck money from people. Sure. And so, yeah, it's, it's great. You have to buy a little device that plugs into your game. You have to buy the dolls. You have to buy the new games that come out, the DLC. How much does one of the dolls cost? I have a, no idea. Okay. I'm sure... Chat, tell us how much one of the dolls costs. I'm sure... I'm going to say eleven ninety nine is my guess. Okay. Between 10 and $20 somewhere. Ooh, physical DLC. That's exactly what those fucking dolls are. See, uh, let's see how many. Uh, how much are the dolls? People tell me. One of you will know. They are not fifty dollars. You <laughs> shut up. Like ten bucks, fourteen, yeah. So ten to fifteen bucks, probably. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, some are like larger than others. Are they are there fancier tiers of the dolls. There are. There are. So some of them might be fifty. Oh, I suppose maybe. I don't know. It's this it, sounds like a bunch of bullshit. As as someone, uh, I am someone who gener genuinely enjoys capitalism. <laughs> sure. Uh, I think it's I think it's fantastic. Uh, as someone who enjoys capitalism, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> because, like I said, they have found a really efficient way to suck money out of people. <laughs> uh, thanks. But. As a person who also just enjoys uh, playing video games, I think it's terrible. Oh, 
Funky Forest. Apparently, OctoJ has a life goal to get you to watch a clip from Funky Forest. Oh, that's that movie. Okay, I'll watch it eventually. I'm not gonna watch it right now, but I'll watch it later. There you go. I'll make a mental note to look up Funky Forest. There you go. Yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you went. I'm a hipster that likes capitalism? I don't think you can do... Well, no, all hipsters like capitalism, right? Because that's how you buy the shit that looks like it's old. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing you've said all night. Great. <laughs> right. Sky, da Sky Dandy, I did not check out the Valve made documentary called Free to Play because it's about uh, Dota 2 and I don't, I've never played Dota 2. I thought that it was going to be about uh, the, the kind of new way that Valve has decided to sell games and it's not, it was about a Dota 2 tournament and it has very little to do with the free to play games market, which is something I'm actually interested in. Damn it! Oh. So, I did not see. And actually, I was really upset that they called it free to play. Valve has kind of invented for for Jay who doesn't know. I don't know what you're talking about. So Valve has has started this thing that has now become a trend in video games, uh, making games free to play, and offering kind of in-game benefits to buy stuff, right? Uh, okay. And. Uh, it has now taken off, especially in the mobile market. Mm. Damn, God. damn it. Oh my lord. Yeah, gotta wait. <sighs> yeah. Um, and so it started kind of, it, it started with, with stuff like Team Fortress 2. One of the most popular video games out there right now is called Dota 2. Okay. Which, uh, I just, I won't even get into that. <laughs> it's a big, big game. Uh, and, and it's working out really well for Valve. They are selling... A lot of stuff in game. They're making a ton of money on the ecosystem. No, no, no! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! I miss it. The uh, so they made a they released a free documentary called Free to Play, and everyone assumed that it was going to be about the business end of this, the meat of this, but it was just about a Dota 2 tournament. Oh. So. I was really upset when I found out it was about a Dota 2 tournament and not about nerdy stuff. <laughs> um, I'm sure, yeah, free-to-play has been in Korea for many years. I'm sure. Shit, listen, fuck. <laughs> everything I say is wrong. <laughs> and everything I do is wrong. You tell them to go fuck themselves. Val no, and yeah, yes, uh, I might have misspoke. Valve did not invent free to play. They were a large corporations that successfully implemented free to play, so other corporations followed suit. <laughs> okay. Is the more accurate way to put it. But also, like, I was. You just, I, I say the words as I think of them, so sometimes <laughs> they don't come out correctly. How did I not make that? Oh, have you. Kill him out of spite. <laughs> yeah, you gotta move faster, dog. You've done this before, you know. That was plenty fast. I said I'm not holding anybody hostage. You guys can go. What? And I will tarry on. No. Tarry on? Tarry on? Who's Terry? Carry on. Whatever. I didn't. Oh, I. You know what? I thought that was. That sounded like a like a sailing term. Terry on. Like Terry on. Terry on the forward <laughs> stop bound. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna go when go, I finish go, my go, beer. Go 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 go. Faster. Not go fast enough. Go. That was great. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Nice! You did it! You did it! 
Shark mole! Shark <laughs> What? Harry on my wayward son. Terry on my wayward son! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Not only did Rich just sing, he sang falsetto. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is totally not Bruce Wayne. This is still happening, and Rich still has not died. <laughs> This is a thing that is happening. What are you talking about? Um. That's right, you need me to sing more hits from the 90s. <laughs> Somebody uh. once told me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want me to lose? Is that what's going on? <laughs> if you lose, we'll blame it on Smash Mouth. Are you kidding? If anything, that should have pumped you up tenfold. No. Oh, Predator 2. What does everyone think of Predator 2? Meh. Meh? Meh? Meh. Yeah, meh. So there you have it, folks, meh. A lot of people hate it. I don't hate it. It's okay. It's no Predator. It's no Predator. It's really no predator, is the thing. Yeah. Gary Busey's in it. There's that. Sure. Was that was that a um? That was a Shane Black movie, right? No. Predator two. No. What am I thinking? Shane, Shane Black acts in the first Predator. He did not write it, but he's in it briefly. Is he? Yes. Oh. Um. But no, he had nothing to do with the second one. Oh, I thought he... For some reason, I had it in my head that he wrote it. No, I think the same people who wrote the first one wrote the second one. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it's all right. It's got Bill Paxton in it. Danny yeah. Glover is and in Danny it. And he's no uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right? Jeez. But I appreciate that they weren't trying to go for another Arnold Schwarzenegger type. Like, you know, go in a different direction. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 lacking the simplicity of the first movie. That's what makes that first movie work. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Lacking the simplicity. Nope. Oh Jesus. Okay. Everything's ruined. Nah. <laughs> I have not seen Cube. Have you seen Jim Henson's Cube? Um, no. Jim Henson's? There's. I've seen the movie Cube. I've not seen Jim Henson's Cube. Jack J. Rich, have you seen Jim Henson's Cube? Is that no, like a sexual even... thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the inspiration for the Cube movies, is what oh, I'm saying. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I've seen the first Cube movie. I've not seen Jim Henson's Cube. Is it like a short? I don't know. Give us more information, Jim. He, uh, he made some shorts. He made some interesting shorts, but I've never heard of Cube. Jack, tell Jay about No Man's Shy. What? Um... Well, you know, when you gain enough confidence in yourself, man, I'm sure he meant to say No Man's Sky, which oh. is a real thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But instead, I'm going to talk about No Man's Shy, okay. which is a story about, um, <laughs> let's see here. Oh, Kevin James <laughs> stars as a truck Tire repair man? A truck tire repair man. <laughs> and the tires come to life and teach him to be gay. <laughs> what? And that gives him the self confidence to find the woman he loves. I. Uh, what? No man shy. I. I don't think any of that worked. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is absolutely not. Strange. But that's all I got. Oh, oh my god. god. 
Carl Weathers is greater than Danny Glover. You are correct. That's very true. That is very correct. Kevin James stars as a truck. Oh, you're right. That's so much better. As a truck. Kevin James is a truck, uh, but he gets turned into a man, and so he has to figure out how to... <laughs> he wants to turn back into a truck. He wants this is going to be one of those Happy Madison Netflix movies. Yeah. He wants to figure out how to turn back into a truck, but to survive in the human world, he's got to figure things out. <laughs> Somebody once told me the world has got to... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Because you know that song would be in it. Yes. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting that one's there. Go on. Um, Buckaroo Banzai? Um, I... I... Maybe I need to give it another shot. I know a lot of people love that movie, and it's like a big cult movie, but when I tried to watch it, I didn't think it was all that great. I like Peter Weller, but... Mm -hmm. I would have to revisit it. It's been a very long time since I watched it. I, th I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I could definitely see... I could... I would understand if someone, even someone who likes B-movies, not liking that movie. Yeah. It's it's rough. It's it's big for its britches. <laughs> but I like it. Mostly because Goldblum. Goldblum and John Lithgow, right? Isn't oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh my god. Everybody great's in that one. Yeah. Great movie. Kevin James is actually a cool guy. Ain't fat anymore, apparently. Good for him? Yeah, good for him. I his career's dead then. That's true. Isn't all the humor in his movies based around the fact that he's fat? Yeah. Listen, I'm sure Kevin James is a fine person. I, 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 I He might be. I don't know anything about him personally. I air no ill will toward the man. He's, he's just made some bad movies. Yes. That's fine. Uh, Dunderbutt says Jack should have his own mic so we can mute him. <laughs> Whoa! He does have a point, Jack. What are you doing talking on your pre-rec stream? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it's almost as if we set this up as if I'm going to be talking. <laughs> And he knows that coming in, but still wants something different. <laughs> Jack, will they ever stop hating you? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that is an appropriate response. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get asked that every once in a while, like on the Twitter or whatnot. Just like, I've been doing this long enough where you guys, you have no idea how little difference it makes when you say hateful things about me. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep falling. I yeah, know. That's how high you had to go up for that challenge. He did all that. Wow. Yeah. It's true. Oh, that's a great question. The portly gentleman asks Best Rob Schneider movie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Demolition Man? Does that count as a Rob Schneider movie? He's yeah. in it. That's probably the right answer. Nailed it. All right. Nailed How much it. further have I got to go? Oh, that's not bad. All right. I'm going to say hour and a half. You have an hour and a half left? Yeah, we'll say I got the last temple and the last challenge. Jeez. Um, that's, that's a highball. Okay. Either way, I'm going to go. All right. All right. <laughs> See people saying Judge Dredd. No. No. <laughs> no, you're wrong. You people are being silly. What are some other movies that Rob Schneider's in that aren't, like, no. Rob Schneider movies, like Deuce Bigelow and that type of stuff? Jesus. He had 
small roles in a number of movies before that. Other than Demolition Man. What else was he in? I mean, any of the any of the uh, later Adam Sandlers. Well, yeah, those. Cam cameos. Sure. Cameos. He's uh, terrible in all of those. Yeah. He's terrible in everything. How <laughs> was he ever a thing? I don't know. Saturday Night Live. Yeah, but he how was, was he? He was on Saturday Night Live with, like, the best cast they ever had, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was in a uh, amusing Funny or Die sketch directed by a buddy of mine. Oh, yeah. In which they remade uh, Red Dawn, but on a new at a nudist colony. <laughs> uh, and I thought that was amusing. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's it. it. And literally, Red Dawn at a nudist colony. That's about, it's exactly the sketch you would expect. Bench warmers. He was on a. Nope. <laughs> I haven't seen it, and I'm gonna say nope. He was in Surf Ninjas. Oh yeah, he was in Surf Ninjas. Not that that matters, because that's a terrible movie too. But, <laughs> but that was before he was a, a, a bigger star. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, him and Leslie Nielsen. Rob Schneider is the poor man's Polly Shore. <laughs> that's hilarious. Aww. I don't know who to feel worse for. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Rob Schneider. I think I enjoyed more Pauly Shore vehicles than I did Rob Schneider vehicles. Absolutely. Absolutely. I liked Son-in-Law. Yeah. That's one more movie than a Rob Schneider movie. In the Army Now is alright. I know Mike likes that movie. I, I, I don't know if I've ever Fuck. seen the whole thing. No. It's fine. You know what it is? It's fine. It's fine. Lori Petty's in it. Yeah. So I like her. Andy Dick's in it, for mm -hmm. some reason. Because he used to be a thing as well. I liked In the Army Now more when it was Stripes. Yeah, It's yeah. the same thing. Stripes was good. <laughs> yeah. I think they might be more cussing in In the Army Now. Or less cussing. I don't know. There's definitely less uh, Bill Murray and Harold Ramis. That's true. And that makes a big difference. Yes. Oh, this looks, this looks horrible. Yes, it is. I keep losing ground. Uh. No. No. Oh no. Oh. oh my God. Jesus Christ. Encino man, I fucking love Encino man. Dunderbutt. What? Dunderbutt. After asking if if uh, if we could mute me, has now subscribed. <laughs> And we thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not being insincere or ironic. I do appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you subscribing won't mute me, but <laughs> maybe there, he's under that impression. Sure. It, no, well, now he can threaten to unsubscribe. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's easy, Array 528. Array 528 says, uh, Jack and Jay, Battleship has been made into a feature film. Yes. Describe what the Milton Bradley game Cootie would be as a feature film. Is Cootie the one with the bugs? It's like you have to build the bugs. You have to build a bug? Yeah. I don't know. They'll be aliens. Yeah, they'll be aliens. <laughs> that's it. They'll just be aliens. That's what, it's totally Will easy. they be Cootie bugs fighting aliens? No, no. It, they'll, they'll be the Cootie bugs come to Earth. And we have to. I fight tried them. to make the concept fun, but okay. No, fine. no, you can't. You get. You can't make it fun. It'll. You have to make it as boring and stupid as possible. Yeah, but maybe. But you know, because you have to incorporate the game gimmick into it somehow. And one of the things with the cooties is you have to like you. You get to dress them up. They have different faces and what that you put on them, right? Okay. So they can't just be aliens. They have to be like robot aliens, mm. and then we have to like assemble them. Uh, okay. And, yeah, that works. And maybe, maybe like, it was us who built them and they turned on us? Or maybe... Oh! Here's what it is. It's aliens, right? The cooties yeah. are aliens. 
we build robot versions of the aliens to, to fight, fight the aliens. Okay. Yeah, uh, that works. But that's only like five minutes of the movie. The rest is a love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, pointless, boring characters yep. that nobody cares about. Generic military characters um, who, let's say, let's say father issues, because that's that's usually a thing. Yeah, that was Battleship. Okay, great. Oh my that. god, you nice, did it. Rich. It's always father issues. Oh Jesus. Shock ball! <laughs> Is that why you've been saying shock ball? Yeah. Because it says shock ball. Shock ball. Great. I haven't been saying shock ball. I've been saying shock ball. Great. I've been too engrossed to notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. Go, guy. All right. Goodbye, chat. It's been fun. Goodbye, Jay. I'm going to go now. Have a nice one, Jay. Yep. Good luck. As Jay leaves, we say welcome to the Whobiest for subscribing. Thank oh. you, the Whobiest. We appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Good night, all. Bye, Jay. Goodbye. All right. I'm sorry, Jack. What? Sorry that I, that I haven't died. Sorry for being awesome at Guacamole. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you don't have to be. You don't have to be sorry. Everyone just wants to go home. Well, I mean, it's it's late, but this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. What? <laughs> Previously recorded. After dark. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can fly after you get all the orbs? I didn't! Yep. That might be new, or else I never did it. I'm just gonna skip a lot of stuff. Oh my god, yeah. Because I can now. That's awesome. He's talking to a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This might not, this might not take as long. Because this... you can find it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, guys, what last the during the Acto Dad stream when I told Mike that we weren't gonna let him play video games, that was that was mostly joking. He can play whenever he wants. He's busy, and as we've discussed several times, doesn't much care for many video games. So we will get we will get him to uh, to play Dr. Uh Someone's asking if we ever finished One Thousand and One Spikes. I beat it. Um, I stupidly bought it for Mavita because, in general, we had a, a decent time playing it. Uh, I've re since regretted that decision. Yeah. I didn't. I don't much care for the game, to tell you the truth. Aw. Uh, that was a freebie. Huh? That was a freebie. That was it? a freebie. But uh, I mean, I mean, you know, we cannot, we cannot like a game just free. It's fine. Should I feel bad for skipping over it? Why? I don't know, I'm just, this is a question. Should I? You're doing it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I suppose I've earned the right. Absolutely. Jay? What do you mean it's J60? Mike. Mike is the one who doesn't like video games. <laughs> Yeah, I'll absolutely tell Mike to play Heavy Rain. I'm sure he'll be really into that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's it's one of those things where... Jay, we've been able to convince to play some games. Yeah. He's not anti-game. Like He's Mike. not anti-game. Mike is anti-game. And so, for anyone who's like, Mike needs to play this game, he would just not enjoy it. We got him to play Quop, and I was really happy with that. Yeah. But, you know, we were, here, we were all here in a group, and we could have fun. He... We will not get him to play many games. Is the thing. Is there sub hype? I didn't see. Pickle Bucket. It's a great name. Pickle Bucket. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. 
Check him. Um, someone asked what music I'm currently listening to. The game I've been playing, uh, Teleglitch, does not have a soundtrack. Which is really, was really upsetting to me until I realized I could choose the soundtrack for it. Like, it has all the sound effects and everything, but no, no music. And so, uh, today I was playing it with, uh, with, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna forget what this is called. Shit, 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 shit. I'm die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Um. He's gonna be lucky if he touches me again. <laughs> Oh man, what's the name of the band? Who does who does Autobahn? I don't know what that is. Bon Fon Fon off the Autobahn. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Someone's gonna tell me and I'm gonna feel dumb. Tyler Glitch does not have a sound effect. There's no music. There's no music in Tyler Glitch. Craftwork, thank you. Thank you, Craftwork. So I had on the Craftwork album Autobahn, which is mostly the one 22-minute song of Autobahn, while I was playing Teleglitch, and it was awesome. Craftwork, oh man. You're right, I should have been listening to Smash Mouth. I, that's a good question. What kind of music does Rich listen to? Um, when you're just milling about, what do you pop on? To change depending on my mood. Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't access this information right now. I am. I am one hundred percent guacamole. Okay. No, one hundred percent guacamole. <clears throat> I'm fond of the divorce. The Doors. The Doors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the Doors. Uh, Nirvana. Yeah. I, I like hard rock. Okay. Heavy metal. Mm hmm And other random things. All right. That's fine. That was a that was a thing. I, I needed to quickly test the game audio. So uh, and this is Rich's computer that we're playing on. So I just so I was like, Rich, just put on a song, play any song, just so I can test. And he pops on Nirvana, and I thought that was weird. Because Nirvana's so awesome. Because I, you know, it's. I don't know why I thought it was weird. I guess I just did. I'm not a, I'm not a super big fan of Nirvana, so. So then I just always assume that the people around me are equally not super fans of Nirvana. No. Dad, oh, they, they're calling it Dad Rock. Yeah, so what? You kids listen to crap. Ah. <laughs> kids listen to crap. Yeah, I like all kinds of music. I like classical music. I like the hard rock. Uh, mostly I listen to, to kind of girly Fuck. pop, girly alt pop, Florence and the Machine and Lord, love that shit. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, hold on, hold on, hold oh on. Oh my god, Rich. Oh, you got your super dupe, you're fine. Any plans to have more multiplayer games in the stream? 100% absolutely. Both us multiplayer and in stream multiplayer with you all. We kind of just play whatever we feel like. These last couple of uh, episode episodes where we've played the game that we played in our most recent episode I liked. So I think I'm going to keep try to keep up that tradition. Of, you know, like an episode comes out, the very next group stream would play the game from that episode. Unless we hate it. Unless we absolutely fucking hate it. Uh, but I, I think that's a fun tradition that I'd like to keep up. So, we got that. We got that. I heard great things about Tribes Ascend, and I've seen many videos on it. I don't know, I, it, I don't know if I can be in that world, to say the truth. Fuck. Double jump. Oh, or... <laughs> that works! <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> That's great. 
That's great. <laughs> no. Tribes Ascend is dead. I, I do. I know that about Tribes Ascend. Nobody got into it. Multiplayer only game. It's dead. Looked like it was a lot of fun while it was around. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, Tribes Ascended, that was all, you guys were right, that was another game that was like stuck in alpha and beta for fucking ever. Did it ever get an official release, or was it just dead on al dead on beta? Fuck this. <laughs> oh, the devs made sign. Okay. Sort of released, sure. Yeah, I know there was there was a lot of hype around Tribes Ascend. At least, I think I'm starting to get exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, well, really god. All, we, I mean, I've come too far. We could also just like pause. No. No. Okay. No. no. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, Jay left. Jay had to go, which is fine. Wish we could get a Psychonauts 2. Alright guys, I'm about to say something very controversial. I did not like Psychonauts. I liked Tim Schafer, but I haven't played Psychonauts. Good dun, figure. Dun, dun. I did not like it. It, uh... That was a game that never let you have fun with your abilities. Every, every single level of the game you learnt a new ability that was applicable to that level, and then you found yourself not using that ability ever because you would learn a different ability for the next level. It never let you have fun with your abilities, and I was always really upset with that. So I never liked Tim, it. Tim Schafer was an adventure game guy. Yeah. He was never famous for his game design. <laughs> uh, he's good. Uh, uh, he's great for, for dialogue, uh, and... Yes. Not so great for running a business. Yes, and you know what? Psychonauts is full of personality. The characters are wonderful. The the dialogue yes. is very. Yes, that's humorous. that's classic Tim Schafer. Yeah, I love that. The game. Part I'll put up. I'll put up with some shitty game though. Ah, for that. Ah, I will. Ah, ah, ah. Of course you would. Of course you would. I know. I apologize. It's just not my thing. It wasn't my thing. I'm the person who liked Brutal Legend. Uh, no, Rich has not had a death yet. This is this is Rich's no death run, and he's kind of killing it. Attempted this a few times on my own. Never got past the volcano. Okay, that's great. Um. Did you play any of the Borderline games? No. No. I played the first one and I enjoyed it until um, until I didn't, which is when uh, which is when I started grinding my guns. It was fine. Borderline. It was a fine game. It's Good. like Mad Max, right? Is that that one? Kind of. Kind of Mad Max on an alien planet. It's it's basically um, uh, gun math. The game. You have these guns and. You find different guns, and if those guns have bigger numbers than the guns you have, you take those guns. It's fine. It's a fine game. I'm okay with Borderlands. I got bored of it. I got bored with it really quickly. <gasps> it's over. Did you just die? Yeah. Oh, Rich. You died while I was talking about Borderlands? Yep. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I I was getting it's 1:30 a.m. I was getting mentally exhausted. I was paying enough attention to my health. That's what I'm saying. They're they're catching up to it now. Oh no, that was a far that was far though. You made it really far. This is the this is yeah really really close to the end. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's that's that hurts true. my soul. Man. 
Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is part of the problem when you want to do a no death run. Is is uh? That's what makes it exciting, though. Exactly. Exactly. See, this is all right. You know, on the episode I talked about the challenge and dying, and there's no consequences. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that makes Guacamole exciting to me. Sure. So is is the the meta game the game that you put on top of the game? Yeah. Yeah. The, the limiting myself to no deaths. He died. He died. You might have missed it because deaths and respawns are incredibly quick in Guacamole. He died from a skeleton with a with a sword. Ah. Oh. So that, that's it. No more playing. That's the rules. Yeah, I you know I know I'm close to the end, but. We got a long day tomorrow, and I'm not going to force Jack to sit here. I know most of the stream are, are yelling at me to push on, but... But the, I thought this was the rule of the no death run, is we just stop whenever yeah. you die. Yeah. But Chad's saying push on. Here's... We... Rich Rich had talked about making this a sub-series. Yes. About making the, the no death run of any game a sub-series, and even if it lasted two minutes... That's it. That's it. Yes. And that's what makes it interesting, so... No continues. No. What were we going to call it? Oh, you had a great name for it. God damn it. One life to live? One extra life to live? Or no, no. Like that was the intro. Was the life. In real life. You only live once. You only have one life to live. In real life, you only have one life to live. That's it. <laughs> In real life. Should games be any different? You only have one life to live. <laughs> one, one life no continues continues or something something there was something in there still life that's funny get a life no more coins I don't know we, we forget it doesn't matter yeah yeah alright that's gonna be it that is going to be it, but thank you so much for coming out, <laughs> even though Rich failed horribly. Oh, hor <laughs> horribly? Horribly? <laughs> no, not horribly. You did great. You did great. What are you, you guys are coming up with some decent names here. Please answer the coin. Insert Coin was one of the titles thrown around for previously recorded. Yeah. Yeah. But we decided that not not enough people would understand the arcade reference. I think something else was called that, right? Or maybe another thing was called that. That could be. There was one we kept going to. I forgot what it was. Game something. It's game something, yeah. The closer you get to the end, the worse you did when you die. What? The worse it feels, I think. It does. It's yeah. true. That's the, Well, that's the point. This is what makes... This, this is consequences. Consequences. Yes. This is what makes... Oh, die hard. That's what you should call it. That's a great... <laughs> <laughs> die easy. Die easy. No, this is what makes modern roguelike so exciting, is you have to beat it in one life. What are we calling it? Get a life? I, 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 is... It'll come to me in an, in an hour. Sure. Before I go to bed. Sure. I'll be like, oh, that's what it was called. <sighs> All right. Well, we're we're leaving. Um, but thanks for coming out again. We really appreciate it, and uh, we will see you guys uh, for Sunday. On Sunday for either a uh, or will we? Well, we know.